What's up guys, Haleon here, and today I'm gonna be putting my spin on answering the question, are motorcycles safe? Are motorcycles dangerous? Um, are motorcycles safe? I will say motorcycles can be more safe. motorcycles dangerous motorcycles can be less dangerous okay and here's what I mean by that uh, it, a lot of it comes down to the rider and what you know what you're experienced with um, what you've learned obviously it's like what you know and you got to educate yourself um, by learning all these different scenarios, right? Because there's so many different variables. I chose this intersection on purpose because it's um, got a lot of construction in it. And there's a, many variables that can happen. I don't know if this guy's gonna take a right or a left or go straight. I'm going left and I don't know if he actually can see me, so I'm not gonna go left until he does something. Okay? So, and that's just me knowing to do that from, you know, regular driving in a car and, MS, and my MSF school and stuff. And uh, normally this spot in town is like very busy and there's construction going on. There's a ton of traffic. There isn't traffic right now because it's like almost eight o'clock at night. Um, but this is just not a very good area to be in. So no, this area is not safe for someone that's starting out, right? Um, so if you're trying to like convince, you know, your family, your loved ones or whatever, um, here's another situation where I'm gonna turn and I hope this car sees me and in, in which it does, looking at my turn, seeing all this crap on the road and just making sure you look to see where your bike's gonna go. Look at all this gravel right here. I completely missed it, right? Because I saw it. Here's another rider. Um, and I chose that, I, I'm choosing this area to demonstrate all of this and uh, let you guys know, you know, when you're starting off, you don't have to, I could have avoided this entire area. You can start in the back streets like I did, right? Um, and then gradually, as you get more comfortable, um, move to different situations, obviously. Motorcycles should be fun, right? Um, it doesn't, they don't have to be dangerous. So, here's La Trilita, my favorite Mexican place in town here. Very good. We'll stop by there sometime. And I'm gonna go back over to this uh, intersection and construction area. Um, to show you guys maybe some different situations that can happen but um, and I am a beginner rider as you can see here I have 972 miles on this bike uh, it's a brand new bike so besides what I did at my MSF 972 miles is the experience I have uh, riding motorcycles here's my stop and one thing that helps me out a lot um, from last summer is learning your slow maneuvering like slow maneuvers at least for me has been like my key like um here's a lot more gravel so as i'm going slow i'm gonna use my rear brake too so i don't uh and now i'm just using all rear brake so I don't slam my front end down. And this is this is a dangerous spot right here. I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but all of this is happening obviously live and situationally. So many variables right now, okay? So the sun is behind me right now. You can see my shadow on the road there. The sun's behind me. I'm not going straight, I'm going left. And if there was a car that was coming straight this way, then, you know, obviously I'm gonna watch what the cars are doing. And if they're turning, if they see me, and if you're not comfortable making a turn here, just go straight, you know? Take your time. Um, obviously watch your rear view mirror also. 
um, to make sure that no one's gonna rear end you. You know, make sure that you can be seen. But drive like you're, ride like you're in invisible, right? And I'm keeping my distance from this car ahead of me because I have no idea if there's gonna be like debris or something on the road, right? And I'm staying in this, in this lane here. There's lane one, two, three, right? So I'm staying in the uh, left one lane uh, because I want to see what's ahead of this car and I see that there's another car ahead of that and then I'm always just trying to assess my situation look for an escape plan um, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna try and pass here because it turns into a one lane up there anyway but yeah I'm keeping my distance I know there's a car behind a vehicle behind me and I'm just trying to make sure that everyone can see me right so as far as like trying to keep the dangers down um, with experience just get comfortable with the bike know how to do things very quickly i spent like most of last summer just doing slow maneuvers and emergency braking right and you're never gonna really know when you're gonna have to emergency brake i've had to do it twice really critically um this season because you know the other driver just wasn't the other drivers weren't looking, so if I didn't stop all the way, I would have ran into them because they weren't looking. And right now, okay, so using my rear brake to stop, um, I see that the car behind me obviously sees me, so. So I'm safe there. And over time, you, you'll just build like your own kind of set of safety, hmm, how do I say this? Like safety standards that you're like always watching out for, right? Um, as you get more comfortable with the bike also. Um, are other vehicles dangerous? Of course they are. Every vehicle to me is a threat, uh, no matter what. Like, don't think that just because the car behind you saw you at the last stop sign or stoplight, that they're gonna see you at the new one. Or if you have to all of a sudden emergency brake, like right now, um, I always immediately look behind me also because I need to know if I'm, in, I'm gonna go into this lane to get out of the way. You know, like if they're not looking, like distracted driving is like at an all-time high, like ever. And I think it grows like every single day because there's just more things to look at, uh, more, more things for people to be distracted by. And it's so easy for people just to look at their phone or talk to, you know, whoever's with them in the car or change the song on Spotify or whatever. Yeah, basically I spent most of last season just on, on like the back roads and stuff and um, we'll hit up some back roads here. And again, I was looking for gravel or anything could have been a danger to me. Cracks in the road, just, just everything. You know, I get that question a lot, like, or I, I see like a comment saying like, oh, now I just have to convince my wife that motorcycles are safe. Um, I have to convince my parents that motorcycles aren't dangerous. And you're gonna have all of these elements that I've been just talking about in this video. Um, you know, regardless whether you're driving a car, or, I mean, it's, it's much more severe on a motorcycle if something happens, right? So, I'm trying to give you guys a good example on what you, when there's a time where you don't have to do a certain thing like like for example what I mean by that is like um, if you're not comfortable with turning right or left then just go straight you know uh, give yourself 
be comfortable with like what you're about to do instead of like committing to a turn where you're just if you're just not feeling it and you really do feel like there's a danger or you're just like I don't know about this then just go straight or if you're in a group ride or riding with someone or riding with people that are on either a different level than you or just have different behaviors than you um, either stop riding with them in, until you, you know get to that level or until you're comfortable yeah or just stop riding them um, I think I've been on I don't know how many group rides okay let's say I was gonna go left but I'm not feeling it so I'm just gonna go straight or if I want to go right and I just couldn't make the turn. I know that was a bad example, but there are some turns that like you come to a stop and it's just like super tight, you know? Um, actually, uh, let me turn around. I'll give you a better example of this. Uh, the corner that like freaked me out the most and yep, I'm about to U-turn, right? But I already looked behind me um, to make sure that there wasn't a car, you know? So I made sure my surroundings were completely safe uh, to do that. But let me take you over to the um, the stop that pretty much terrified me last summer. Yeah, this exact road here, 4th Avenue, I, I spent last summer going up and down this. Uh, my practice lot is behind me to the north. And uh, last season I did a lot of like, like emergency stopping drills, right? As long as I knew it was safe to do it. I probably looked crazy to other people, um, but I can see that there's not a vehicle that's close behind me right now. So what I would do is I would get as close as I could to this stop sign, pretty much. Um, and I'm not gonna like downshift or anything, but just practice your emergency braking. Remember that thing I told you about the Z system, right? Like, oh shit, you know, just stop quick. You can be smooth about it. Don't forget, uh, clutch, front brake, shift down, and then rear brake once you get close. What's up, Geo? That's where Geo lives. Okay, so coming up here is that turn that terrified me last summer uh, because it's on a hill and I was, I'm terrible at right, me personally I'm terrible at like right, right turns, like turning to the right. Okay, I'm watching this guy, he's been sitting there for a while, so you never know, and he's turning my direction, okay, so um, we'll add some pressure to this. Okay, here he comes. He's coming up behind me, and this this is gonna happen. You're gonna get in, into a lot of situations uh, where you're gonna feel a lot of pressure, right? So if you're just if you don't want to make a fast a fast slow turn to your right, then just go straight. You know, uh, for whatever reason, this this turn used to really mess with me. Um, let's say there's a car to the right also going left. Okay, so I would get scared and turn really wide, you know, but that, that turn right there used to freak me out. And if you get in a situation like that, where there's a car to your right, you're going straight and there's a car behind you and you don't want to make that turn quickly, you know, because you're just kind of flustered by all the traffic then just just go straight you know until you get the hang of it practice when there's not cars there and just keep doing it over and over and over because that's that's key just t take it slow and just get as much seat time as possible like and as a beginner rider I'm, I'm trying to you know teach you guys all this stuff as it's fresh to me you know a lot of it I'm getting used to now just by you know second nature or whatever um, I even almost stalled right there but that, that's like the point where you want to get to is where it's like second nature to you and you'll, you'll just instinctively like look at everything that's around you uh, scan as far ahead as you can and yeah I know that was a 
a long-winded take on what I think of motorcycles being safe and or motorcycles being dangerous. You just gotta constantly learn things and apply what you learn and you know, hit up YouTube and check out other people's videos on and tutorials on what they're looking out for when they ride, because that's what I did. Uh, go to your MSF school if you don't have your license yet. Get your license. Uh, and your, trust me on the MSF school thing. Um, you'll thank me for that. Oh, another thing that I'd like to add is that you don't have to go fast on a motorcycle. Uh, I know motorcycles are known or associated with or have the stigma of you know speed and obviously especially the type of bike that I have it's it's associated with very high speeds right because this thing is like 430 pounds wet and it can go really fast in a couple seconds right uh, so I asked one of my buddies, hey, like, why don't you ever get into motorcycles? I think you'd have a ton of fun. He said, because I don't like the fact that um, there's nothing protecting me from the road at like 70 miles per hour or whatever. And that's totally fair. You know, you'll get there with experience anyway. But all I'm saying is that you don't have to go fast on a motorcycle meaning like you could just get like a cruiser or you know like a 125 like Honda Gram or something and then just have fun with that around town commute to work or something like you don't have to go like a hundred miles per hour like yeah a lot of people immediately think like oh well those things are just dangerous they go so fast it's just like um yeah, the motorcycle can go fast. Like, you don't have to go fast. And then, yeah. Um, I think that's all I have for you guys. Let me know how your guys' riding experiences are going. Uh, if you're a beginner, maybe leave some situations that you've been in or some experiences that you've had as a beginner rider. Uh, I'd love to read about them because I'm also learning as well. And if you want to come on some future moto vlogs with me, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like.